<laughs> going to go ahead and get started. Good luck. Uh, with us at this time is our number five seed in the tournament, the Tigers from Fort Hayes State University. Fort Hayes State will advance to the semifinal round of the tournament and will play the winner of the next game um, on Last Saturday. Central Missouri. What's they play Central Missouri. Oh, Central Missouri, sorry. Um, at uh, 12 p.m. on Saturday. The Tigers are currently 20 and 7 overall after going 12 and 7 in conference regular season. Fort Hayes State finishes the season with a 1 on 1 record versus the Lions. Representing Fort Hayes State are head coach Tony Hobson, Beth Wazlowski, and Tara Inglesby. At this point, we'll hear an opening statement from Coach, and then we'll open it up to questions. Well, I thought we got a good, a good defensive effort from just about everybody. Uh, that we had in the game. We had one little stretch in the second half where uh, we gave back some some points when we had a nice lead. Uh, but other than that, we uh, pretty well controlled controlled their offense for the most part, and we rebounded the ball well. And that's usually the key for us. And then if you get a few shots to go in like we did today, uh, we can sometimes stretch it out. So just a, we, we played well, and... Um, you know, Missouri Southern is an athletic team, and they really they always play hard. And we knew we would have to be ready because they're a, they're a solid team. Coach, uh, what was kind of working for you guys defensively uh, inside? Well, their post players are both pretty athletic, and we'll put it on the floor. So early in the game, we were going to try to double them a little bit, which we usually never double team the post because we have Lehman in there. Um, but we decided to double team just a little a little bit uh, because they dribble so much and they're a they're a hard guard for for us so uh, that was that was effective and then uh, we we want to always go in the post offensively because it puts a lot of pressure on them and they got in foul trouble uh, so that that hurt when they didn't have Mosley for a lot of the first half um, we we can go. Pretty de we, we have a good defensive team if we have the right people in there. Um, when you have Shaw and Edwards and, and uh, Bath and Taylor, they're all good perimeter defenders. Um, and then you have Kate inside. Tara did a good job today of, of keeping them from getting too deep uh, down on the block also. So we just kind of got, got them out of their rhythm. And uh, other than, like I said, there's a little stretch where they hit some shots the first half. I thought we were effective. The other end, do you think uh, Kate did a good job of converting her one-on-ones, you know, getting you guys off to a really good second-half start? Yeah. Well, she did. She got us good shots. And, and most of the time when it goes in to her in the post, something decent happens. I mean, if she doesn't get a decent shot, she will draw enough deep defensive players that she'll kick out and somebody else will get one. Uh, so, yeah, she got a couple nice nice shots to go there right after half. and got us back up to 12 and I don't know you seem to play a little looser when you've got a double digit lead for some reason. Tara how much confidence do you think your defense was kind of given you know your offense at the other end seems like you guys were able to you know pull away thanks to limiting them a lot more than you guys did during the regular season. Can you say that again? Sorry. Uh, what <laughs> Sorry. Kind of, what kind of uh, confidence did did you do you think the defense you know kind of led into some of the shooting that you guys were having today? I feel like if we do have a good offensive game, our defense steps up a lot more because we just get into it. Um, with Kate Lehman down there, we're always dependent on her to get the blocks, but we did do very well with the transition defense this week like we've been practicing. You guys can't, You guys, you know, aren't, aren't a great three-point shooting team. What clicked for you guys today? Man, I could not tell you that. Sometimes we are 0 for, 0 for whatever, and then today, I mean, when we have more than just Chelsea hitting the threes, it's just, it's just going to be a good day. Beth, how much were you guys just, you know, feeding off some of those, some of those three pointers, and just what kind of momentum did those, especially in the second half, provide for you guys to pull away? It's a big momentum, I mean, because you saw we all got jacked, excited, and we just carried that over to the defensive end. We got to stop, and then. Went down on the offensive end, and hopefully we converted. So we're all surprised at the three-point shooting today. Is that correct? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we we're, that's not our forte. Let's put it that way. Um, an eight for 19, it isn't like we didn't miss one. Um, but usually if we shoot eight for 19, it's that, you know, Mason has 
she's five for eight, you know. Um, so when Taylor hits a couple and, and uh, I mean, Beth doesn't shoot a bad percentage. She just doesn't take very many of them. And, you know, there's not a lot of post players in the conference who are going to go three for three from the three-point line. So, and, you know, and Tara's actually, she's been struggling a little bit for her from the perimeter, so it was good to see her get. Uh, you didn't take a shot other than a three? <laughs> no. Wow. Well, you might have got fouled on one, but. Uh, so, I, I mean, I, I'd say mildly. I mean, it's not like we haven't had games where we've had some threes, but um, they were just so timely. It seemed like they'd cut it to 10 or they'd cut it to 12 and we'd hit a three, and it, that, really, that really takes the heart out of the other team when they work so hard to try to chip away and then you somebody shakes loose and hits a three. I can tell you that because it happens to us sometimes. Sarah, you had the fist pump after the first one. Was that kind of a confidence builder to get you going? Or? I mean, like Coach said, I've been struggling from a perimeter for the last, like, three games, and it just felt good to have it back. It's really... Beth, what do you think it's going to take against Central to kind of keep this run going? They've had some success against you guys recently. Yeah, I mean, uh, looking back, they beat us at their place for, uh, to open conference regular season up, so we want to get them. Uh, we're going to have to play defense, guard them. They're have good shooters, Flax, she's a great ball player, great driver, but I think if we bear down on defense, that'll give us our offense, and hopefully we can see the W. Coach, do you think that would take, how many more wins do you think it's going to take to get into the NCAA? Is it going to take them? I think we need to win it. I think, I think Southern needed to win it. You know, I mean, we're, we're 9 and 10 in the region, and... Um, now, I'm not giving up any in, inside info because I'm on the committee. Uh, but, I mean, uh, Concordia St. Paul was the number eight in the region, and they won their tournament. So they're in. It isn't like we can jump over them. And number six and seven both have five or six losses. It would be hard to get them. So I, uh, the way I'm approaching it is we need to win the whole tournament. And if something happens where we win one more and slip in there, then, you know, I won't give it back. But um, <laughs> I, I think we probably need to win it.